Cătuțun, e garoțun, e marta siruțun, e zoruțun, e par, havidiană sa videnița Să 
Hajim yev miş yev havidyanı saviden nitsam men Sarat <gülüyor> Sur je bo a par je visovozat. 
să-ți dea acest foc. Pasă în aia pe ghimerot, iar în iar în care cni să faci la cui ne-a tot gostit de nas, el părgutea nu conorit, îți dea acest foc. Sar da bagat ca brate, va mena nuti mangan ce gheți vo, zera la ce suc. Pasul care vas ca cavorație, vas faza seriș canat, zora varație, zora absnozin, zera la ce suc. Sunt haguțe loc, vor cheșmanii de lui, ava domnului Hristos în ce țin, îți de la acest suc. Mărmație, mărta sere s-a sfăț colo, Ev chez va ele parchi și ca nu ciun e badil, Aș îmi e mis și eva vidiană s-a videnița men. Today's reading is from the second book of Timothy, chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. You must understand this, that in the last days distressing times will come. For people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, inhuman, implacable, slanderers, profligates, rooters, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to the outward form of godliness but denying its power. Avoid them, for among them are those who make their way into households and captivate silly women, overwhelmed by their sins and swayed by all kinds of desires, who are always being instructed and can never arrive at a knowledge of the truth. As Janus and Jambres oppose Moses, so these people of corrupt mind and counterfeit faith also oppose the truth. But they will not make much progress, because as in the case of those two men, their folly will become plain to everyone. Now you have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, steadfastness, my persecutions, and my suffering, the things that happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from all of them, Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Thank you. Alleluia, alleluia, ye gaik, ye vdesak, eskorzes terats vots, vor besi harech en horortov, ganzaman ein vod vots, mark, alleluia, orti.
Jesus has said, Hokin Hamar, Goriden Havata Tokmer of Idian Tunin, is Hokin Dagavincher Dervat, Hanibor Jesus Paraborva Hat Cher, Jogobur Tango Mang, yet blessed seen as Hosker a seam. I say, Skagan Makaren, Urishner the same, Ozianne Christos, is Vomantal the same. Nite Kaliya Yen Vidika, Christos, Kir Ketchuset, Te Christos Pavitaka or Iserum Ten Vidila, Yetavitika like in Petra and Image Vidizani, Yevisusi Bajaro, Daragar to Tunel Lalash Yegan, Oman Kuzet in Serpada and Zinker, Pites Boch Megahamarza Geta. Հորջան ոչ էր որդին, գամ էր երբ եմ են հորջան ոչ էր սուրպոքին, 
Gam te hochei teren, gam halme eutenas and in a zortinas to zo, yev gam masur pokin, yev tepo pochelikan, gam ailelik, zain bisisen nezove, gatorege varakelagan surpegeti. Is meg paravore suk for a rach can a zavidians, yev gir bacanelo serpo yer or tutian, yev mio svazutian, or yev ort fo, yev o quinserpo. Ajmi e mi se va vidiana sa videnica men. E vieva sa utiana de la Gesù. E vieva sa vadova la Gesù che tu tre su vidiana e a su zoi per ce me me si se Cristo se. I jamus passa bene la uti. Si a jani te nuzion non a se. Jesus, <laughs> Arjanavor kelitsu kohutiam paravor elas kezentor yesur pokuit ajmiev mis yev avidiana savidenitsam men kavahutum amenesum. Tiam kol Christos pergitmer, vori vere kans amenai midas yevas pans, amrat sos mes, yevan ergu bah ya amenai chare, avasar ya az mes en chismari tergir bakus kon, vor kofov ye chismar du tiam kez yergir bakanen, basen zia amenai sub yeror tu tiam. Vaile park is canuchun e badi, aj mi e mi se va vidian sa videnit sa men, ortial dermer Jesus Christo sa men. Ortial derasvat ortnese sa menersian.
Alleluia, <speaking in Hebrew> Sirutiam, diara meroe percin, Hisusi Christosi, and forum kes, or mian kamane vokuitser pom, vaele par his conutune badil, ajme niche vavidian and savidelit samen, hava hutun, amenetun.
آره کره آی سه مار میگیم ور باسون سری پازمات باشخی ای کابوتون یه وی توغوتون مغاد آره گیست ما نامنکیان آی سه آرژونیم نورو اختی بر حقا که سر یه پاز ما تغانی ای کابوتون یه وی توغوتون مغاد
and for Sevmez, Hoyt Saras says, Parerara Swatsahachem. Aswadzadzin Serpogusin Maria Mu, Yevhovan Numagarchin, Stepanosin Akhavagain, Yevamena Serpots. Yegiti Shadagi Surpadarak Sarachem. Sorry, I'm 
Եվ դուր մեզ համարցագացային պարպարով հանալս վերանս մեր գարդարս կեզ երգնավորը թայր երեկել և ասել։ Հորնություն և պար խոր և որդվո և հողխույն սրպա, աժմ և միշ և ավիդյանս հավիդենի։ Ես դեր մեր Սուս Քիսոս էր ինձ 
sekt jar nas tu zomerum te bik, tain iv kaks rus jam zerkes hoke vors, dinisama, vailen sav moske vor knut jung, aleluk jev jevke hoke vor, baš ton jajk, han per cirkov sav mosa sav sek, jev zder hergine sort ne cek. Հարելույս սիրիր եվադացյաններ, այժմ գրավիրենք, ովքեր ներգայ են այսօր, ովքեր բադրաստված են և մգդրված են մասնագից թարնալ խոստովամության գարքին, իսկ նաև ստանալ Սուրպ հաղորդությունը։ You may offer the confession from the right side of the church where the faithful have already begun to gather and there are confessionals available for you to read from along with us. If there is not space that allows you to join us there, you may also offer the confession from your pew. We ask that you uh, um, approach the holy altar from the right side of the church and after receiving holy communion, please remain on the left side of the church until the dismissal blessing is offering when you can return to your pews. Myself and Sir Pazan Hayed will be distributing Holy Communion from two points and you may approach either location to receive communion as you come forward. We'll begin the confession at this time. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I have sinned against the All-Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have sinned against God. I confess before God and before the Holy Mother of God and before all the saints and before you, Father, all the sins which I have committed. For I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, willingly and unwillingly. I have sinned against God. May God grant you forgiveness. I have sinned by the sevenfold transgressions of the deadly sins and all their forms, namely by pride, envy, anger, laziness, covetousness, gluttony, and lust. I have sinned against God. May God grant you forgiveness. I have also sinned against all the commandments of God, both positive and prohibitive. For I have neither performed the positive commands nor abstained from those things that are prohibited. I accepted the laws but was lazy in keeping them. I was called to the profession of Christianity but was found unworthy of it by my deed. I did not apologize to those whom I should, nor did I forgive those whom I should. I needlessly hurt others by speaking ill and gossiping about them. While knowing the evil, I willingly gave way to it, and I purposely kept away from good deeds. Woe to me, woe to me, woe to me. Which of my misdeeds shall I recount? Which shall I confess? 
for my sins are innumerable. I have sinned against God. May God grant you forgiveness. Reverend Father, I have you as reconciler intercessor with the only begotten Son of God, that by authority given to you, you will release me of the bonds of my sins, I ask you. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May God, who loves humankind, have mercy upon you and forgive you all the sins which you have committed. <clears throat> and by the priestly authority that is committed unto me, and by the very word of the Lord, that whatever you forgive on earth shall it also be forgiven in heaven. By his very commandment, I absolve you of all participation in sin. By thought, word, and deed, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I reinstate you in the sacraments of the Holy Church, so that whatever you do may be counted for you for the good and for the glory of the life to come.
Yeritsi, Yeritsi, Yev Yeritsi. Gadarum and Orinats, Yev Markareis, Ves Christos has was per Gitsmer. For let's say Zamenain Hiragam, Donor and Junasco, Lit Sevas Mez, Okvot Kov, Sir Paul Kavazana. Oh, Amen. 
Jetzt Serpo Abedalali si su si Cristo si voras tomano. Pari Luis. Amen. Astu zo pari. Yev poloret kishnora vorem vor yegegetsin hasak ais aravote vor vedev kidemte yeredit yurin cher. Yev kana hadelie. Good morning everybody. God bless all of you. Uh, we want to express uh, our gratitude for seeing you here today in the sense that uh, we know that it may have not been easy for some of you to reach the church under the circumstances. Uh, nevertheless, uh, your presence here today is a sign and show of support and respect for the Armenian Apostolic Church. Of course, our guest celebrant today is our diocesan primate, His Eminence Archbishop Hovland Devterian, who in just a moment I will introduce. Before I do so, just a few announcements and reminders. Following services today, there will be a program held in the uh, Paul Family Fellowship Hall, to which you are all invited. The focal point of that program will be uh, remembering the legacy of His Eminence Archbishop Ari Shirvanyan, pastor of St. John Armenian Church for over 16 years. Uh, we will be offering requiem prayers for him and others at the conclusion of the Divine Liturgy today following um, His Eminence's pastoral message. Um, a few other reminders uh, regarding the uh, coming weeks here at St. John. Next week, some of you uh, would like to know, I'm sure we will be praying for the soul of uh, Edward Barber Sr., long-serving member here at St. John Armenian Church. His Hokianquist will be next week. The following week, on the 18th, I will be absent from the parish to preside over an event at the request of His Eminence Archbishop Hovnan Derderian in Los Angeles. Nevertheless, we invite you, of course, to join us that day for morning prayers. And the following Sunday on the 25th, this will be the second um, uh, opportunity for us to gather together to offer our healing prayers at the conclusion of Divine Liturgy as we began last month. The third Sunday of every month is our, month is our healing prayer Sunday, our healing Sunday. We will have special healing rite prayers at the conclusion of Divine Liturgy for all who wish to participate. And there will be a special presentation in the hall following the service as we did in January. This month's presentation will be about grief and grieving as the theme for the month is um, addressing emotional healing in our lives. And it will be presented by someone who is familiar to many in this parish, Diran Avakian. 
and we encourage you to join us on that upcoming Sunday. Aijem, irabes im chorin badivne hraviralu mer arabmedian temi arachanam arachnorte hovnan arkibiskubos der deriana mer serpazan hayre vor kisane yergudari ver gazaraye mer arabmedian temin khon arutyamp yev desalaganov. Mira se gerezo abakai hamar yev ir taregan hovagan ait salutiam mezihede aisor yev vestan vor poloris hamar arit pidella hokevor ait pisi zgatsum unenal vor avli khor zevov menk gabnevik merige gerezo head it is now this time my deep honor to invite our diocesan primate his eminence archbishop hovnan der derian who for um, over 22 years has served humbly the Western Diocese, uh, and he is joining us for his annual pastoral visit to St. John Armenian Church, and I know this opportunity to hear his message will be a moment uh, of uh, uplifting reflection and an opportunity for us all to grow closer to the Armenian Apostolic Church. Sarpazan Hayr. Barilusim Gome. Sit here, just move the books. Gusam Lavek. Are you all well? Yeah. As there I was driving me to the church from the hotel, I was really concerned as I was looking at the roads, you know, the flooding uh, which have already started very early in the morning. I was concerned, but then as I look at you, I'm I'm truly uh, encouraged that you have taken the courage and and the empowerment to be here in person physically be praying together praying also for the beloved late archbishop arish shirvanian a long-standing member of the brotherhood of saint james in jerusalem a member of the the office of the bishops of the Mother See of Holy H. Miyazin, whom I have met probably the summer of 1975, I remember, when I was a young man in Beirut, Lebanon. He has been a classmate to my mother as a young student in Beirut, and then he moved to Palestine, Jaffa, where he served as a pastor after his training at St. James Brotherhood. Therefore, I remember him for a very long time. Uh, I vividly remember the place that I have met him, actually. Uh, he was visiting one of our neighbors in Beirut, Lebanon. I have met him several times, and I have known him very closely, and you all are very fortunate that you have had the chance to be with the late Archbishop Ari Shirvanian, who also has served in many capacities as pastor, as vicar in Canada, in India, in Germany. But the Western Diocese has the place where he has put his heart and soul and certainly has touched the hearts of many of you. Uh, we pray for his soul in a in a few minutes, when I convey to you my short message of the day, we will be praying the Almighty God to rest him among the abode of the saints and thank also God for the services, the pastoral services that he has rendered for the children of the Armenian Apostolic Church. This is also a very special day. We will be praying for 11 new ordinances into the rank of priesthood. A few hours ago, almost 20 hours ago, in Yerevan, in the capital city of Yerevan, 11 new priests were ordained. They were called to the service of the Almighty God and the Armenian Apostolic Church. His Eminence Bishop Oshagan Gulgulian, who is the primate of Iraq, he made himself present for the ordination. He ordained all the 11 ordinances and has given 
a very powerful message for them to be strong in their commitment, for them to feel the grace and the gifts of the Holy Spirit in the depth of their hearts to start a new journey, a new journey with Christ our Lord, a new journey for our beloved faithful, wherever they may be in Armenia and around the world. Some of them, I, I know them personally during my visits to Echmiadzin, and I was delighted to see that they were being ordained as priests of the Armenian Apostolic Church. And as, as I have arrived yesterday, yesterday, by the way, I spent full day with, starting with the Ladies' Society, their higher organized a fellowship at the home of Ola Borosian. Around 15 of the Lady Society members were there. I felt it was a very uplifting moment also for me to be with them. Because not always that I get the chance, you know, to be in the smaller circles and have this question and answer period. And I think that was important for me. And equally, it was important for them also. And I hope that, you know, many other occasions uh, will arise, not only in this parish, but in many other parishes around the diocese, across the diocese, which actually I do, but I think that was the first time for the Ladies' Society to have that kind of a chance. Then I met the council, parish council members. Uh, I think we spent almost close to three hours there, as far as I remember almost three hours, and uh, we will continue our dialogue with the council members. Issues pertaining to the diocese and, and the parish, as well as concerns pertaining to our motherland, Armenia. I was also delighted to hear from Derhair that this community, San Francisco Armenian community, is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the establishment of the Armenian Church community. 100 years ago, apparently, the first wedding has taken place mm -hmm. and a few other important ecclesiastical services have taken place. That is very significant. 100 years after the first wedding service, here we are. We continue our mission, our Christian mission, we continue to pray in this beautiful church, St. John Armin Apostolic Church. And this is also the day to remember in our prayers those who have been wedded in this church. We pray in also the Almighty God for the souls of the founders of this church, those who have served, be them bishops or priests, council members, lady society members, those who are no longer with us, yet their spirit is with us. We feel their spirit. Their spirit is empowering us and also help us to think about the journey that they have taken in their lives with love, with compassionate heart, with commitment, spreading the word of God, instilling the messages of Christ our Lord in the hearts of our faithful and you are now those who have received the legacy of the founders and we continue to make the promise that we will be the stewards of this church and we will also inspire our children and grandchildren for them to be here in the same pews, for them to pray and praise the holy name of the Almighty God, but also for them also to inspire their children so that this mission, the Christian mission, the mission of the Armenian Apostolic Church is continued from generation to generation. And I know that, you know, in a little while in our prayers, we will also be remembering Steve Gizmedjian, John Sambatian, and clergy who have served this parish. May the good Lord bless their souls and also reckon them amongst the abode of the heavenly saints. Sireli parebasht havadatsyavner. Aisor tezihet guzem pajnel, 
բարձ խոսք մա ավեդարաններ են որ արցանակրված է քրիստոսի ավեդարանի մեջ որտեղ մենք կգարթանք հետեւյալ բարերը որովհետեւ մարդու որտին քրիստոս աշխար եկավ գործվածը փրգելու համար this is one line from the gospel of christ our lord and i want to share this with you and i want this to be the actual statement and the message which is important for us all because in the actual message i feel that the actual life of christ our lord is embodied the theology the christian theology is embodied for the only begotten came down from heaven to save the lost christ our lord at first invites his disciples before he shares his statement with them to gaze their attention on the children whose mind and soul are pure and then conveys his message that we ought to we ought not to ignore the depth of the faith of our children we all have experienced that as we hold a little child close to our heart to our hearts we feel that there is purity there is peace with every child which also inspires us gives us that spiritual strength therefore when we read the words of christ our, our lord we are not at surprise what he says what he conveys to his disciples for us also to gaze our attention on the children who are pure in their heart once again i repeat the statement of the gospels for the only begotten came from heaven to save the lost when we read these words we then are reminded of the words of the evangelist saint john which has recorded in his gospel the following words for god so loved the world that sent his only begotten son into this world so that whomever believes in him may not perish but may have life everlasting god was incarnated in the life of christ our lord thus paving the road for humanity that we may elevate ourselves towards god for if we choose not to adopt the path leading towards god we then are in the darkness especially on the eve of the great lent i use this particular verse that life is a journey towards god and often we forget that life has to be a journey towards god that can happen only when we begin the day with prayer that can happen when we open our eyes every morning to praise the holy name of god and make sure that you know one message is in the depth of our hearts and that becomes also the spiritual message for the day which continuously grows within us and if we are not careful not to live the journey of our life with Christ our lord then certainly we are in the darkness but before i continue my message i also would like to read the passage from the gospel of saint matthew where christ our lord speaks also about the lost sheep as i have shared with you that one particular statement that for the only begotten came down from heaven to save the lost then let us read the passage which speaks about the lost sheep which in many ways can be any of us the lost sheep these are the words of christ our lord if a man has 100 sheep does he not leave the 99 on the mountains and go in search of the one 
that went astray. And if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 that never went astray. So it is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. As I said it, this particular passage and the statement which I have read it embodies in itself the life of Christ, the mission of Christ our Lord, and also the theology, the Christian theology and the Christian faith. Christ our Lord explains to us through this little parable, small parable, the depth of the Christian faith. How do we perceive the mission of the church? The mission of the church can be condensed in one word, solitude and servitude, as reflected in the exemplary life of Christ our Lord. Thus the mission is accomplished in our collective efforts when we make the search for the one lost sheep. And as we are able to return the one lost sheep to the flock where it belongs, then there will be joy in heaven. Shad pars orinak evor Christos kudayev Christos, shad pars orinak dorov gochosi mezi arag nerov, yanken arnavats batker nerov, vorong aesoral mer yanki mech mez imastunin. Yete vertsenen kyurakanchur arag, yanki tasmene vor mezi kuda, luis kuka mer hoki nerun, yev mer yanke gemeshageng Christoniagan vokov, yev naev imastutiam. We all know that Christ our Lord has spoken multiple parables throughout his earthly ministry. And this is one of them, which speaks about us, about human life. The one lost ship, as I said it, can be one of us. And I remember vividly almost 35 years ago, 1987, when His Holiness Vasquez I was making his pontifical visit to the community in Toronto for the occasion of the consecration of the new church, Holy Trinity Armenian Church. As a pastor, I, I was welcoming him. I made a reference to this parable saying to His Holiness Vasquez I, Vehapar, times are changed and if this parable is speaking, is speaking about the one lost ship, in our case, in our community life, in our diocese and around the world, and I'm not speaking only about the Armenian communities, Christianity or Christian communities have lost the 99 ship and there's only one left. Therefore, the mission is very clear for us to be working harder, and harder, not only to bring the one lost sheep to reunite with the flock, but the many who have gone astray, at times willingly, and at times unwillingly, because of the circumstances. But the reality is that the gospel of Christ our Lord gives us that spiritual strength and the wisdom to recommit ourselves to renew our spirituality and to continue the mission which Christ our Lord has started together with his disciples and remembering always the actual statement for the only begotten descended from heaven to save the lost, to protect the lost, to guard the lost, to bring them together, to be reunited with the flock. I've taken this particular passage as an important message for the day, an important message throughout our journey of life. In a family also, when one child is lost, even though parents may have 
three, four, five children, that one child brings pain to the heart of the parents. Until such time when that child has returned, is brought back home, then there is rejoicement, there is happiness, there is celebration in the house. And how much more celebration will take place in the life of our churches and communities, and also God our Lord will rejoice from heaven looking upon us. So, as to the word, no one will be able to do it. I 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 will be able to do Zahagan, Dignat, a Bolor Marvin Nerum Menkuren, Masta Vorgerbo, Escuzem in Knaduchuna Urel, Ser Sireli, Der Mestro, Kahana, Ashin, Vorirabes, Vorbes, Yerdasar, Toke Voragan, Patsari Kerbov, Izarai Chuna Gpere, Mer Temagan Gyanken Ners. As I have said it in Armenian, I bring my gratitude, my blessings, and prayers to all committees of this church under the guidance of the parish council under the presidency of your beloved pastor father mesrop ash and on this occasion i would like to extend my deep appreciation to derhar der mesrop for his wise dedicated leadership as a pastor of saint john armenian church and also as a priest of the western diocese Guzem Shnora Vorelzing, a pokrik neverm naev, Vorbes Mersiro, Yev naev, Merkan Hadan Kinashana, Ser Sireli, Yev naev, Nuinkan naev, Sireli, Mersireli, Der Mesrobin Nergasna. There I promise. In as much as we extend our appreciation to their hire, their maestro, but the 50% of the appreciation goes certainly to our beloved Yeretskin Ani. As was the Ordnen Nair Yeretskin. Hima Bolorat Keravirenk Agotki, Seragot Kegadarelu, Ari Serpazani, Inchpes Nair. Steve Jis Medjaniev, Johnson Badiani, Okinerun Hamar. Amen. Amen.
minutes on. Come closer to me. There we go. Sir Pove the Ranisi Susi Christosi Borastovano. Եթե ոչ հատ ընցորենու անգյալ երգ իր մերանիցի ինքն միայն գա, աբա եթե մերանիցի հազում արդյուն սարն է, որ սիրեզ անցնյուր արձագեզ նա, և որ ադյազ անցնյուր հաշխարի սասմիկ իգյան սնավի դենագանաս բա� Եթե ոգ զիս պաշտից է զգնիմ եգես է, և ուր ես ընեմ անդ է բաշտոնյան իմ եղիցի, եթե ոգ զիս պաշտից է բատվես է զնա հայրնի հին։ Սրանքուցելոց Քրիստոս աստված մեր առահանքիստ եվ ողորմություն եվ մեզ մեղավորակցը շնոր յազ թողություն անցանած։ Եվ եվ ես խաղությանը զերաղաչես ծուկ, բասն հանքության հովքոցն աղաչես ծուկս 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Christ, Son of God, forbearing and compassionate, have compassion in your love as our Creator upon the souls of your servants who are at rest, especially upon the soul of your devout and dedicated servant, Archbishop Aris Shirvanyan, and your servants, Stephen Gizmejian and John Sambatian, for whom we are offering these prayers. Be mindful of them in the great day of the coming of your kingdom. Make them worthy of mercy, of expiation and forgiveness of sins. Glorify them and reckon them with the company of your saints at your right hand. For you are Lord and creator of all, judge of the living and of the dead, and to you is befitting glory, dominion, and honor, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Ortnial Dermer Jesus Christos. Amen. At this time, we will invite the faithful to come forward to venerate the gospel before we excuse you to join us in the fellowship hall for this afternoon's program. We would like to express our thanks to the Mount Davidson Cross Council for um, donating the altar flowers today in memory of Adi Sirpazan. We'll hear more about that during the program, of course, later today. Also, we'd like to ask, once they're finished, our choir members to come down to join us for a photo as well. Amen, sir. <clears throat> so you guys stay vested so we can take a picture, okay? Thank you. 